Hey there, this is Oliver from Lentus.com and in this time I'm going to show you how to use a uh, quick projection tool in Blender. Quick projection uh, is a little tool that allows us to increase the potential of our texturing workflow in Blender because it allows us to uh, project uh, images directly from Photoshop or the GIMP onto our 3D model. So we are going to see how it works and first of all we need to go to the user preferences uh, right, you can go here or press Ctrl Alt U. Here we are, and in file, you need to set up your image editor. All right, you can set up the GIMP, Photoshop, or whatever. In this case, I'm using uh, the GIMP. So let's go here, the GIMP bin, and you want to use the GIMP dot All right, or the the file that you execute for opening the GIMP. So this will tell Blender where GIMP is and when we use the Quick Projection tool it will uh, directly open the GIMP to edit our image. Alright, so turn this off and we have already this character that you saw into the Destroying in Blender tutorial. This is uh, some kind of continuation of that tutorial. Uh, in that tutorial I mentioned uh, this, um, this tool very briefly and now I want to make a tutorial just uh, focusing on that tool because it's so great and it has a lot of possibilities uh, Okay, so we have our model here here. We have our texture and we are going to go to the texture paint mode All right, let's make it full screen Let's make this a little bit a little bigger and the quick projection uh, options are here All right, what this does is that we need to uh, put our our model into the point of view that we need to project an image from. You know, so for example, in this uh, quick tutorial, I'm going to project the Blentus logo onto this uh, backpack. So I just position the camera from here, and what this is going to do is to take a screenshot of this uh, viewport, open it in the GIMP, and then we can uh, edit the image, save it again, and when we come back here to Blender, we click Apply, and it will project the changes on that image onto our model. It's pretty cool. So we need to set here the resolution for the screenshot, right? 1024 will be enough for this uh, test. So now we need to click Quick Edit. And as you can see, this will launch the GIMP. I already had it uh, opened. If it's not open, uh, Blender will open it and now I just want to edit this image. Uh, we have this image, uh, the viewport, as a background image. All right. So before we save the image uh, after editing, we need to edit it in a different layer and then all the, all the changes that we did, we need to turn off the, the, the background so we just uh, transfer to Blender the parts that we modified, not the background, because we don't want uh, this base to be projected on, a, on our model. All right? So we can just use it as a reference. So create a new layer. And for example, I'm going to load here the Blendus logo. All right? Let's scale it. Let me. Okay, press control for making it equally. All right, there we go. Okay, now we can move it just a little. Okay, the cool thing about this is that uh, it allows us to use a lot of possibilities that we have with image editing techniques into GIMP or, or Photoshop that we don't have at Blender, all right? For example, we can change the perspective of this logo Okay, to match our character better. Okay, on even distortion, we can add shadows, we can do whatever, even project photographs. Uh, I even use this um, this tool for projecting a, a face photo into a 3D face. You know, you can distort the, the face in the photo to match your model and project it again into Blender. So the face will fit, the texture will be a real face, but it will uh, fit your model. This is uh, very cool. And uh, well, that's why I find it interesting to, to dedicate an entire tutorial to this uh, tool. It's a quick tutorial, but it will be cool. Also, we can, uh, why not, 
we can just paint some things into this model whatever we want and now we just uh, turn off the, f the background and here uh, I have it in Spanish uh, but well you can uh, just save it okay combine sport it will export this image as a PNG saved in a temporal location all right but now <clears throat> on, the, on that temporal location it will be the modified image so now if we click apply you can see that what we did in GIMP is now projected into the model and we can just turn around and it will be projected right it doesn't matter the the resolution you use in the GIMP or Photoshop because when you project it back into the model it will uh, use the texture resolution right because now as you can see it has been projected into the UBs currently so as you can see uh, this had a lot of potential, a lot of possibilities and it allows you to easily create uh, textures, complex textures from Photoshop because you just can take a screenshot from this uh, point and add here a material, a photo or whatever make it match and then you can go to the other side and make something different or you can just uh, paint it over from Photoshop if it's uh, easier for you but you will have the 3D model as a reference and you will project it into Blender when you are done. So well this is everything for this tutorial, I hope you liked it and you find it useful and well see you in the next tutorials and happy blending!